Oh, I should have done my hair. Let me do this for a minute. Oh. Is that better? Eh, it's a little better. It's game night on this Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes. Four day weeks always confuse me. I always get confused about which day it is, but it is Wednesday. And it's 532. It is apparently 32 degrees. I will confirm that. Yeah, maybe 30 degrees. We'll see. Weather bug says 30 degrees. All right, so we're going to go with uh, 532 and 30 degrees. And we're playing the Jazz. So I got to get downtown to see that. I think we've beaten them before. In fact, I think we're favored tonight which would be good. It would get us back to 500, and after squandering the opportunity against the Nuggets on Monday, which kind of balanced the, the sneaky win we got over the 76ers on Sunday, anyway, be very close to the eighth uh, and final playoff spot. I think I got a big thing right there. Do I look red right here? I don't know if it's me or the camera or the lighting or Anyway, I gotta stop saying anyway. That's my new thing that I overuse. It used to be you know. I think I've cut down on the you knows, but they've been replaced by anyway. But I was gonna look up the schedule real quick and double check those Jazz games. Because you care about how the Timberwolves fare against the Jazz, how they have fared in the past, and how they will fare tonight. All right, at Utah, 10-point loss in January. Well, currently 0-1-1 with, with two games to go. So we're going to play them three times. This is game number two. And currently we're 0-1-1. I still think we'll be 500 against them and overall by the time tonight's game is done. Hopefully. With Rubio, we can do no wrong. Let me get to your questions from yesterday, if I can find them. First, I want to say hi to Dave Fenton, if he's still watching. Last week, he not only tweeted about the video, he Google Plused about the video, he liked it on Facebook, he did everything he could, and then I totally forgot to say hi to him the next day. And then he probably gave up on me. Or he just hasn't had as much free time during work as he did that day. But Dave, always fun to run into you. Forgot to put a bottle in the fridge. So on the W, which is where I believe the only questions I have outstanding are, we'll go from the bottom up. What are your KMS TV shows? What genre do you prefer? Comedy, action, drama, reality, etc. Hmm. Probably sitcoms. I think I watch the most sitcoms. And again, I track almost all that stuff with Get Glue to earn stickers. And you can see my Get Glue check-ins either on Get Glue or as a part of the feed on CRZ.net. I think sitcoms because they're shorter. But I do like procedurals, but they're an hour. It's not that much time in the day to watch stuff. And I still got all those shows on DVD I need to catch up on. If you're offered a spot on one of the following game shows, which would you pick? Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, or The Price is Right? Wheel of Fortune's easiest. But Jeopardy, if my two opponents are really stupid. Price is Right, I probably would not be good at anymore because I have not paid attention to the prices of things other than groceries for the past five, seven, ten years. So... Plus, Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, you're more likely to get cash. Price is right. That's a grab bag. I love game shows, though. I always wanted to be on one, and then I never got around to doing it. And now I've kind of peaked, and I'm not nearly as smart as I was 20 years ago. For instance, yesterday I probably could have done the math in my head and told you that I spent 672 for ramen, but instead 
I said, you do the math, and James did the math. Thanks, James. Now it's just, I'm at that age where I don't like retain stuff, but I know how to find it, which makes me an excellent re researcher and pretty good at this job. I never know the answer, but I know how to find the answer, and I can bring the answer to you. So it's not all about writing. It's also about researching. I praise my employer for not firing you. Every day I work, I am happy that I haven't been fired. Does your employer know of your internet presence? Probably not. In fact, in, in all the job interviews I've done over all this time, there was only one person who knew of CRZ. And I had no chance of getting the job, but he wanted to talk to me anyway, so that was pretty cool. And then he joined the board, and then he made fun of my resume. But that resume got me in the door at Veritas, which led to this gig. So who's laughing now? Dave, who isn't watching and won't ever. Do they know about your wonderful daily videos? I don't think so. Although some of my coworkers are following me on Twitter, and on, although I'm dutifully posting video links to Twitter every day, I don't think they're watching. And again, like my parents, if they are watching, they're doing a great job of not letting me in on the fact that they're watching. And even if they were, I don't know if that would change what I'm saying too much. It's now 538. Because, I'm going to cover this up because it's I have no concealer, so I'll conceal it with my hand. It's not like I'm saying anything that would get me fired anyway. And it's not like I change a lot on my audience. Like if you've seen me write, you know that I just kind of write for me and if that's cool with you, great. If not, there's somebody else you can read. Is there any current reality show on television that you would want to be on? I don't know. I guess for the right amount of cash prize, I could probably be persuaded to be on a reality show. Survivor doesn't look like much fun, though, because you give up a lot. So, I don't know. What else? What else is, is there? I never watched The Mole, but people spoke very highly of that one. It was kind of a brain game, so maybe that one? I don't know. Is there one from the past that you're sorry you didn't get to be on? No. Gee, I really wanted to be on um, Boot Camp. No. Um, the only upside to being on a reality show is you become a celebrity. So that would be fun, to be a celebrity. By which I mean I would be famous for not much more than being myself, which I am now, just on a much smaller scale. But it'd be nice to have 10,000 followers instead of 500. You know what they say, give a guy 500 followers and he wants 1,000. Make a guy a millionaire and he's a frustrated billionaire. I'd love to be a frustrated billionaire, by the way. If we could get me my first million, that would be... I think you're wearing yellow because subconsciously you want it to be warmer outside. The yellow gives you a spring-like feel to your day. No, I don't care about the weather. I, I like cold weather and I like snow. It's supposed to snow tonight. We'll see. It would be the second time this week, and it hasn't snowed twice in a week all winter because this winter has been so mild. I wear yellow because I like yellow. It's my favorite color. That's all there is to it. Hey, that's it. If you have commented to me elsewhere and I've missed it, again... You're going to have to poke me and let me know. But I don't have any video comments. Alfano is busy off being Alfano, I think, and hasn't been able to watch. Hello, Alfano. Uh, if you want me to say hi to you, all you got to do is make yourself known. And that means you can like it on Facebook, or you can comment on YouTube, or you can tweet me, or you can leave a post on the W. And if you don't know how to get to any of those places with respect to me, all you got to do is go to crz.net where all those links are conveniently arranged for you to learn more about me and my life, which I am living online. I'm coming up on 10 minutes somehow. I don't know how that happened. And I'm sure there are at least three things I meant to say but didn't. Find out what they are tomorrow, perhaps. Bye, everybody.